Good afternoon, boys and girls. Good afternoon, sir. Wonderful. See, another success story of SSB Showshot Academy. I'm very pleased to announce one of our candidate whom I have interviewed live, Shaswat Aryan, has made it in the SSB. And thus, he has become our A84th candidate to succeed. And can you believe it? It's just in one year, five months. And soon we are going to hit the 100th target. And by the way, I'm only counting the successful candidates of Bangalore Academy. I'm not even including the Punjab Academy. The count will already exceed 100. So I can tell you now, like him, you all guys possess these qualities. Only you have to be given the finishing touch, a bit of refinement. Only you got to believe in yourself that you can make it. And trust me, Saswat was born of like you, a simple, sincere, straightforward guy. But he had that spark. Do you have that spark? Yes, sir. And let me tell you, if you think you can, you will. I have no doubts about it. And today we have kept an interaction of Shaswat along with you. Please ask him all the questions. And he has done exceedingly well in his SSP. Okay, so you are with Shaswat Aryan now. Please ask him all the doubts. I'm sure you are going to learn a lot by his experience. Okay, in life, let me tell you, we learn more by interaction, by listening to the other's experience. Since, since he is a life example of our academy, you will pick up some good things from him as well. Thank you. Shaswat, now the stage is yours. Okay, sir. Bye. Make sure that you don't miss any of our free classes and exclusive new videos on SSB Show Short Plus. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell. Follow us on Instagram for more informative and motivational content, offers and updates related to the armed forces. Visit our website for numerous online courses and study material. Call us on 6364052525 to inquire and register. Now let's get back to the video. Good afternoon everyone. I am Shashwat Aryan and I am residing at Hyderabad. I got recommended from 1AFSB Dehradun on 14th of Feb for NDA. So actually this was my third attempt and in my first attempt I got conferenced out for NDA and in the second attempt I was screened out for TES and this was my third attempt. So I covered up all my mistakes and this time I was improving upon myself and uh, I covered up my drawbacks then I got recommended. So actually I took online interview from sir during last year's October. So what went well this time was that I was not verbose in my personal interview so it went really smoothly and from the previous attempt my GD was a bit better. So I think these two were the major reasons for which I got recommended. Otherwise with respect to the physical thing I was poor during the last time also in my individual obstacle and this time also I was a bit poor. So this was a brief introduction about me so you can ask me any questions regarding SSB or any of your doubts. How was your PPT? Actually it was really good. The main thing which you should focus on is writing a relatable story, cover what led to the situation within two lines and after that you should have a powerful communication and powerful narration with ease and clarity so that the group understands the whole thing and as well as the assessors will understand the thing which you are saying. And after that usually GDs doesn't happen nowadays <laughs> most of the time because the group makes a lot of chaos and they are howling like anything. So main thing depends upon your narration, write a relatable story and narrate it really well. If, even if your story is poor but your narration is really good, then also your chances of getting screened in are a bit high. But if your communication is very low and if, you are, uh, if your story is good, then also with poor narration, the chances of getting screened in is very low. So focus on that. Uh, last time I came a bit late and in the second group discussion actually I prioritized the leads but this time I didn't did that kind of mistake I was completely focused 
I focused on the lead on which I should speak and uh, after taking my stand, I gave logical points. And apart from that also, don't be a disruptor, be an assertive guy, don't be a shy or non-assertive kind of guy and help others also, those who are not able to speak, if their communication and body language is a bit low, then you should identify them after giving your points and you should help them to come up. That's the thing you should do in GT. Group task, be specific about it. Group task like uh, PGT. Okay. PGT, P yeah, sometimes, even if it's our group are not agreeing with our ideas. Okay, then just simple thing is that clearly explain your idea so that it goes into the ear of GTO. He'll understand that this guy is better than others. If your group is not listening, that you know that kahabat, jab haati chale bazaar kutte bhaon ke hazaar, that kind of thing would be there. So just keep your point, that's it. How was your command card? Yeah, it was really good. In AFSB, they take a little bit less time and compared to army entries. If you explain the idea clearly, they'll say, okay, gentlemen, your command task is over. I've got the idea, you may leave. It was as simple as that. What was your main focus in GTO task? Yeah, my main focus was that I should be in a leadership position in my GTO task and I should perform really well in each and every task. That was my main focus and I should help those who are not able to perform themselves. So this was the main areas on which I focused. I didn't bother about the results, it was in the hands of assessors. Uh, my main focus was that I have to give my best, that's it. Okay, so main thing was that I was having a bit of physical fear regarding individual obstacles because I haven't practiced them and another thing was that uh, I was able to do only two individual obstacles but whereas most of the candidates in AFSB do five to six obstacles on an average. So what was the thing in my mind that when I went for Tiger Leap, you know, the platform was shaking and I was not having that much confidence that I should take a leap and one thing came in my mind that if I fall down because the platform was unstable so if something breaks down then the dream of joining defense will be over at that same time and after that I won't be able to give the further testings so I bagged myself out and after that I was able to do only two obstacles I think which, that thing went really negative for me I should have improved upon that Uh, be more specific regarding to which one. No, everything I finished except individual obstacles. Yeah. It was really good. Uh, the main thing in lecture eight is your power of expression and your content and how you present it with your organizing skills. That's it. So it went really well. I gave some examples as well, supporting to that argument, that's it. How was your GP? Yeah, GP was really good. Because in that thing you can take a lead if your planning and organizing is really good. And if you are a practical kind of guy. Because in my group one guy was there. So, we were having one problem that track was taken out by some gundas. So he told that we are having cycle with us, so we'll put the cycle and after that train will go <laughs> over it. So you can see the logic behind that. You can understand what kind of rubbish he is speaking. And after that he told that there was a plan of planting a bomb on the dam. So if that bomb bursts out, so there will be a flash flood in front of the dam as you know. So there was one village um, after that dam. So what he said, you know, that let the bomb explode, we'll change the direction of water. <laughs> you can see the impracticality which he is applying over there. So GP is very simple if you are logical and practical. You said as you were repeated, uh, so were you able to come with a common story? Com In GP? GP, uh, yeah. Actually, we did a lot of discussion and on some points we came to a common conclusion. 
but due to the level of group also the time is cut it short so we nominated one person he narrated the group story uh, uh, on the shallow part according to me we came to a conclusion but it was a bit shallow he should have went more deeper as we discussed it was really good okay yeah this, this is a really good question which comes up with everyone so for resolving a fish market you need to have good social skills for example if you are also participating in that so it doesn't looks nice so you are also becoming a disruptor in the group so be a understanding and assertive type of guy who stops everyone like just am please 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 calm down please calm down let us listen to him if you are going to speak like this then it would be really bad for us so you should be like that cooling and calming everyone and you should take the help of some other person also who is trying to speak let us listen to chest number 23 is trying to say something like that so everyone can get quiet because of your assertiveness and your voice also plays a major role in that actually i did a few mistakes which i covered up during the third time uh, during my first ssd my personal interview didn't went that well up to which i expected i did a bit of mistakes in that i was a bit more verbose i didn't gave it to the naturalist of me so i think that mistake was done by me and after that in the third attempt it was sorted out so overall my performance increased this time and in srt is also last time i did 36 but this time it was 57 so that also matters a lot so these were the two things which happened better when compared to the last time yeah first thing is that you should be good with your communication communication is the bedrock of ssb you can say that if you are poor with your communication skills then you are not going to perform well even if you know things which you are going to speak and second thing is you need to have confidence if you are under confident then automatically you will have very much negative thoughts in your mind if i say something what would be the what would be the reaction and what would be the observation of the assessors uh, this is the second thing third is your content building If your content is not good then most often your personal interview will not go smoothly that is the third thing and fourth is be practical and logical in your psych test and in your gto as well so they want a guy who is completely practical and logical who is not going to do some bahubali kind of things as you know bahubali uh, no no we will not go into that be practical and natural and the fifth one is that be a progressor in your group always be a progressor and constructive chap otherwise it would create a lot of problem for you and be physically fit from my perspective <laughs> because it's going to help you a lot and remove any fears if you have that's it so thank you very much sir if you are struggling with spoken english then register for our next english speaking course which starts on the 11th of every month call us to register now